Well, the day after the Wells report was released, Tom Brady appeared, as you saw there in that video, at Salem State University. Jim Gray was the moderator and asked Tom to talk about Deflate Gate. Tom essentially said he couldn't really discuss it. Uh, it wasn't the issue then, but according to the Boston Globe, the Patriots quarterback was paid $170,000 for speaking at the university. The latest on that, Stephen A. Uh, your reaction, now that you know this news. Well, my reaction is, listen, before I say anything else, let's keep in mind that uh, this, this paid appearance for this speaking engagement at Salem State University with Jim Gray, um, it, was, it was agreed upon long before the suspension was handed down uh, by Roger Goodell and Troy Vincent. So we understand that in that regard, one has nothing to do with the other. It's not like it was afterwards and he agreed to show up at Salem State. It was beforehand that he agreed to do this. So we understand that. I just, it just made me chuckle a little bit, Skip, because here is a guy uh, that had as close to an impeccable reputation as you can find in sports annals, okay? He's Tom Brady. I mean, he's the guy, the great looks, the rings, the great, you know, the Hall of Fame credentials, the supermodel wife, <clears throat> you know, just an impeccable reputation, completely unscathed as far as I'm concerned, and somehow, some way, you're getting called a liar and a cheater and what have you. And the only time we've heard from you at all is when you're being paid $170,000. Again, the one that paid the parents per se doesn't have anything to do with it because I know it was prior. He chuckled that the only time that the only time you've been heard from is for a paid appearance. We've never heard from you at any other time throughout this whole ordeal. That's all I'm saying. So, do you have an issue that he was paid $170,000 to speak no, at no. Salem State absolutely, University? Ab 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 okay. Absolutely not. I just don't think that's the only time we, would, we should have heard from him since all of this. I don't think that's the only time. I think that it would have been nice for him you know, again, and I know you agree, disagree with this because that's you, but I just wish that it's somehow, some way we would have heard from him in some other capacity where someone other than Jim Gray for a paid appearance wasn't the one asking him questions about the flake gate since the suspension. That to, for that to be the only time we've heard from him, it just, I, it just makes me chuckle. Okay. Okay. So... Now you're using this latest report that he did get paid $170,000 to make this appearance to take another shot, even a chuckling shot, at Tom Brady. And you're forcing me to reiterate to you, Stephen A. Smith, that Tom Brady is not Stephen A. Smith. He's not built the way you are. You would have immediately fired back at your critics. If they had called you a liar and a cheater, you'd say, hell no, I'm not a liar and a cheater. Tom Brady wants to let his actions speak louder than his words. But the mere fact that he has not spoken much, just a little bit there at Salem State University, that's no admission of guilt on his part. He's going to let his actions scream for him, and I think they already are screaming for him because clearly he is appealing, even though his owner sold him out and left him a little bit high and dry and said, I back off, I cease and desist, I wave the white flag here, Tom Brady's appeal will be heard in about five days from today. And if that fails, in Tom Brady's view, he is assembled a great legal team and he's going to take this to court so a and b appeal and maybe uh some court action here strongly suggests that tom brady is firing back at his critics that's saying in and of itself i am not a liar and a cheater he has made it pretty clear to me he has done absolutely nothing wrong and i think he will prove he has done nothing wrong either by appeal to the commissioner's face or in a court of law. So, so to me, I, I we're right back where we started, and it seems like well, a little bit of a low blow that you would take a shot at him 
just because it was reported he got 170,000. Well, first, well, 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 first of all, well, first of all, Skip, if I first of all, I disagree with you, your assertion that I'm taking a shot at him. But let's say for the sake of argument, if I was, I have the ultimate reason for doing so. I've learned from the very best because nobody takes shots at people the way that you do. So let's get that out the way, okay? Does that act like innocent Job here, well, where you're, the, you, you're so far beyond, you would, you, would never, you would never do such a thing. Uh -huh. Let's stop that nonsense, all right? Let's get that out the way. But Skip, I have a question when for you. And it's warranted. a question, oh, uh, whatever, yeah. whatever, <laughs> okay? Let me ask you this question, because I've never asked you this before, but Skip, as you were going through your little soliloquy right there, Something popped into my head that hasn't before, and I must uh -oh. ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. if Tom Brady had been called a liar and a cheater by the NFL, Troy Vincent, Roger Goodell, but there was no suspension for it. We believe you lied, but we're going to move beyond this. Let's just move on. Okay, the Patriots are going to get their fine. They're going to get their million dollar fine. They're going to get their 200, 2015 and 2016 picks first and fourth round respectively confiscated. But you specifically, Tom Brady, we're not going to suspend you. But we think you're lying and we think you're a cheater. But this penalty will suffice. Do you think Tom Brady would be suing? Do you think do, do you think that he would be filing any charges? against Roger Goodell and taking him to court because his reputation has been sullied then? Well, that's a bogus hypothetical because clearly if they're accusing him of lying and cheating, they're going to have to suspend him. And I thought they came down hard on him. So how can no, I wait, deal wait, with wait, a wait. hypothetical? Well, I, I guess what I'm saying... For I, four games. All right. I, I guess what I'm saying to you is the issue is that he suspended and he doesn't feel that he should play, that he should miss games. The issue about his integrity, what I'm saying, when you say Stephen A would have spoken up, I'm speaking up about the issue of my integrity. I'm speaking up about the issue of my character. The fact that you could call me a liar yeah. or you could call me a cheater is enough for me to raise holy hell. I'm saying to you with Tom Brady, yeah. it seems to be all about the games. It seems to be all about the games. Because to me, if it's, it, I'm just looking at it from the perspective, the whole process should be appalling to him. The whole, pro I'm, I'm talking about everything. The, the fact that the Patriots have been penalized should be just as egregious in Tom Brady's eyes as what's happening to Tom Brady. That's what I'm saying. If you feel that principled about okay, it, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Wait, the, the Wells report was pretty clear, right? The Wells report was damning for Tom Brady. It, it pretty much indicated that Tom Brady knew and that he orchestrated. So he has been called publicly by an arm of the NFL, the Wells report, and they certainly took it to heart and suspended him for four games. He has been condemned as a liar and cheater. Nationally, he's become the butt of talk show jokes everywhere. So, so he's firing back the way he fires back, not the way you fire back. Fine, that's fine. But the Wells report did not speak definitively. It did not say beyond a shadow of a doubt that Tom Brady knew. It said, and I, I don't have the Wells report directly in front of me today. I did a few weeks ago when we were talking about it. But the words probable, yeah, I if I remember correct, he probably knew. Mm -hmm. So the point is they're yeah. deducing mm -hmm. that he probably knew and Roger Goodell and Troy right. Vincent coupled that with the fact that they believe Tom Brady was uncooperative during the investigation to justify their suspension. Nobody said you mm -hmm. definitely and definitively knew. What they're saying is it looks probable that you knew, but couple that with your sure. uncooperative behavior, this is where we've come to the conclusion yes. of you should have cooperated more. That's what they're saying. Okay. But the Wells report led most people to leap to the conclusion that Tom Brady was a liar and a cheater. And I think you leap to that conclusion if I'm not misreading. I don't want to misrepresent whoa, 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 whoa. you Wait, 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 wait. I did not need the Wells report long before the Wells report came out. Go back to the videotape. Don't let me don't let, go back to the videotape from when it first went down. I said it's much ado about nothing. 
I don't give a damn if he were playing with Nerf footballs. They still won. That was that. But don't tell me that the quarterback, who gets it snapped to him from center, that. who hands it off to the running okay. back, who throws it to the wide receivers, okay. did not know that the footballs were deflated. Okay. I said, that's a lie. That's what I said. Okay, so 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 you are calling Tom Brady a liar and a cheater. And that's fine. When I he, get it. I accept when that. He, on, when he says, what, why ahead. am I calling him that, Skip? Why am I calling him that? I'm, I'm saying to you, if you're saying to me, that he didn't know that the footballs were deflated somewhat, I think that's a lie. Do I believe that he sat there and told him to lower the pressure to a specific amount? Of course not. I'm not going that far. I'm just saying don't sit there and say to me, are you kidding me? I don't know what you're talking about. The footballs weren't deflated. I have no clue. It's impossible that a quarterback wouldn't know that. That's all I'm thinking that he's lying about. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Final point. Remember, and, and I know you do a lot of public speaking and occasionally get paid yes. for it. Maybe Tom Brady was uncomfortable off, off that yeah. night. What's that? I'm sorry, I didn't get I it. said I get, I get paid off it for it. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. I got it. Okay. So maybe Tom was uncomfortable using the Salem State stage, which was supposed to be a feel-good night for the fans. He is getting paid some for it, 170000 It's a lot of money for, for being there. Maybe he didn't want to sort of hijack that stage and use it as a platform to fire back at the Wells Report in the National Football League. It, it was nationally televised by ESPN, so we all wanted him to speak, speak out if, if he so desired to. But maybe he felt uncomfortable doing it in front of that crowd. Maybe it was the wrong place to do it. So in other words, it's the wrong place to do that. But it's not the wrong place to sit there and say absolutely not. When the whole deflate gate scandal, when he was asked if it took away from their Super Bowl victory from celebrating it, he said, absolutely not. When they asked him, did he feel the Super Bowl was tainted? He sits there and turns to the crowd. What do you think? And everybody's cheering or whatever the case may be. You know, you're trying to tell me he can answer those questions in that fashion, but he couldn't have sat up there and, and, and literally said, excuse me, I'm no liar. I'm no cheater. This is bogus and I'll deal with it okay. when the time comes. Stop it, Skip. Stop it. OK, he did. He did allow Jim Gray, who's a pretty tough interviewer, to grill him and grill him and grill him some more in front of those folks. And after a while, as tight lipped as Tom Brady was, he did have that response to the fans at the end. So I don't have any problem with it, nor do I have a problem with Tom letting his actions now speak far more loudly than his words. OK. As far as Deflategate goes, hearing on Deflategate penalties scheduled for Tuesday. Obviously, more to come. Uh, after the break, LeBron James. You guys like that commercial? I get that. That was kid on Twitter. Anyway, LeBron is the greatest player on the planet. How long can that last? That is the question we ask. We'll be right back in just a few moments.